K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello, gamers, trekkers, and trekkies, and sci-fi fanatics. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to a new series. Well, okay, sort of a kind of a new series featuring Star Trek Online. Now, I say sort of kind of because I already have uh, some Star Trek Online stuff on the channel. <clears throat> but what we're, ha we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a whole new character. And this is on a free account. Now, the other videos that I've done have actually been on my paid account. This is going to be on a free account. This will allow you to, in case you love Star Trek, and you know about the game, and you wasn't really sure if it was something that you wanted to get into, or maybe it seemed uh, awfully uh, complicated, or maybe you just didn't want to deal with <clears throat> having to buy things. I just wanted to show you that if you're a uh, Trek fan, I personally think it's worth checking out. Um, and you don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. And you can get along just fine in the game without spending any money. <clears throat> Plus, uh, you can earn money in the game with dilithium and convert it to actual store uh, stuff. And so that's what this series is going to be. We're going to be... Um, using a free account that I have and going through the stories having fun enjoying what's happening and uh, and just going from there so if if you've been wanting a chance to see Star Trek online from you know the beginning of a character this is your chance um, and you know you may not have time to really go in and to and, and play it but you may have time to, you know, watch someone. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to be doing right here. Now, this character that I've created is for my Vlair channel. Uh, this is Vicky Vlair. She's also the same name that I used for a sim. Um, <clears throat> she has followed the Discovery uh, era uh, story. So if you're interested in watching the Discovery era, then you're going to want to head over to my Vlair channel and check it out there. Um, I don't want to repeat the same thing uh, that I've done over here on uh, YouTube also. So um, head over there to check it out. In the meantime, we are going to create a brand new character uh, for here. And you can create up to eight characters, so... So yeah, we did Discovery Starfleet, that'll be on uh, Vlair. So, we can do uh, Dominion, which uh, we'll do separate ones of this, um, so that way you can see the stories. Um, there's also the original, uh, original series Starfleet, and we'll do a separate one on that also. You've got the Romulans. The Klingons, and then of course Starfleet. So we're going to start off with probably the most popular one to play, which is Starfleet. And like I said, we will go back and we will create um, other ones, uh, except for Discovery, uh, and these other ones, so that way you can see those stories because they will uh, connect and intertwine with each other. So. We start off with Starfleet. Do we want male or female? Well, I did female on the Discovery one, so let's do male Starfleet. Now the question is, what race? Let's see. Bajoran could be interesting. I don't have a... I don't think I have a Bajoran. 
You can also do kind of like a random alien type of thing. Or you can do Vulcan, Trill, Tellarite, Asaurian, Rigelian, a pack lead, just so you can make things go. <laughs> Let's make it go. Um, a bullion. Uh, you can make yourself a barber, you know, cut some hair. Uh, Betazoid. A benzite. What about a benzite? That seems like that might be an interesting idea, as a benzite. Let's go with a benzite. Okay, so benzite contact with the Federation was limited until the 24th century. In 2364, Mordok, you might remember that from the next generation, was the first benzite accepted to Starfleet Academy. Benzites have smooth blue hairless skin and a thick protrusion of skin extends down over their face, giving benzites a prominent nasal lobe and brow. They have two facial tendrils that extend from above the upper lift, lip. <laughs> their bodies are protected by a smooth chitinous covering. Benzites are unable to breathe a standard oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Some benzites choose to wear a respiration device, but many undergo genetic alterations to allow them to operate, it, operate in normal federation uh, environments. So, yep, that's what we'll do. We'll go with a benzite. Now we can do Starfleet Engineer, a science officer or a tactical officer. I'm thinking science. What do you think? This this just seems like a good science uh, officer. Let's read these here. So, as an engineering officer in Starfleet, you support your ship and crew by increasing their survivability and using improved technology to outlast and outmaneuver opponents. Your efforts focus on withstanding damage, improving the performance of your technology and equipment, and deploying power generators and defensive minefields. Your ingenuity and resistance can turn the tide of any conflict. A science, a science officer in Starfleet, you use your skills and knowledge to support your ship and your crew. You can weaken or incapacitate your enemies, enhance sensor operations, create energy fields, and treat the injuries of your fellow officers. Your greatest strength is your versatility. And then the tactical, tactical officer, which I think is probably one of the most popular ones to choose, um, as a tactical officer in Starfleet, you defend your ship, your crew, and take command of combat scenarios, stealth squad commands, and damage boosts are a few, tool, few tools in your arsenal. And your, you support... I can't just can't talk. And you support your crew by drawing enemy fire or boistering uh, the effectiveness of your away team with superior tactics. Decisive strikes and overpowering tactics allow you to effectively lead the charge. So, my... Uh, Discovery uh, officer is actually tactical, so don't want to always do tactical if you know what I mean. So, like I said, if you want to check out her story, you want to go over to Blair. But we're gonna do a science officer Benzite, and you know, I guess, I guess the thing that I thought of uh, um, Mordock when he got accepted, didn't he? Yeah, he had like a blue uniform if I remember correctly, but. <clears throat> Let's go with that. I like this outfit, too. They came out with this Starfleet outfit uh, long before the Star Trek Picard series, and I think it I think it works. It's a sharp uniform. Okay, now we can uh, define his features a little bit here. We got presets. You just hold your... Uh, I was going to say, hold your nose over it. Uh, hold your mouse over it. So that one there doesn't have the respirator. I kind of want to have the respirator. That just seems like a... That just seems to be a defining thing for um, Benzites. Although, in reality, I don't think I would want one because all someone, you know, would have to do is hook something around it. I mean, like, if you fall, it would break and it would seem kind of, um, <laughs> uh, it, it wouldn't seem good. So, 
Anyway, uh, let's see. We can choose two different types of heads, which I can't really see a difference there. We got the body and the uniform. Which one do we have there? Ooh, this is interesting. I like this look. Let's go with this look. Now you can make them tall, you can make them short, kind of like it where it was um there's that kind of stance you can also make them uh kind of like standing like a brawler or a creature <laughs> or gruff or relaxed stern swagger thoughtful twitchy kind of like uh data is the thought that i had uh, let's make him thoughtful he's a science officer we're gonna make him thoughtful then you got the uniforms. So you got these different uniforms that you can uh, pick from here. Oh crap, I just picked the wrong one. There's this one you can pick. That's not what I'm interested in though. I clicked these and I didn't I didn't mean to. Now let's go back for a moment well now we don't need to all right um if we go into advanced you can change uh the colors and stuff so all we got to do is just go back to this and we can change it back to blue we can put it any color we want there if we want to put uh green we can do that heck let's just let's change it to green why not see we have, now have a green stripe <laughs> yeah, we can do some pretty cool things. We give them green. How about a green belt? Why not? Let's zoom in so we can at least see what we're doing here. All right, where were those? Where was that belt again? Here it is. So yeah, you can do a green belt. So we got green there, or let's click on this. There we go. Get ourselves a nice green uh, belt. And then maybe we can make this top blue. I don't know. Um, see, lower body, upper body. Is it, uh, let's see. So you can change that. There we go. We can change that right there. See, now we can make that blue. Let's make it a, oh, about that blue right there. See, we're designing our own Starfleet uniform. <laughs> That's what we do on, on Killer TV. But other than that, I like the black. <clears throat> we can always go in and change this stuff at another time, but yeah, let me know what you think. All right, we'll go ahead and click next. Enter a name, let's just Click a random name here. Vires up. I have no idea what that is. Kutak. And Anyant. That looks like douchebag. <laughs> Instead of dude. <laughs> Let's just choose another one. Uh, Elizak Taznet. Port Portubet. Man, these are just crappy names. New Nud. Now Gag. Well, let's just come up with something here. Um, how about more more techish? No, that sounds like Morticia. <laughs> Let's keep figuring something out here. Pam Pampa, you know what? I have an idea. Let's pull up um, the internet here. And just see if maybe we can create a, uh, let's see, Ben Zeit names. Oh, okay, that works. Hoya. See, we got a Ben Zeit right there. Laparin, Mordok, Minden, Tandon. Here, let's go over here. <clears throat> uh, let's see, culture history 
behavior. Well, those are just some names. Tandon is not too bad. Here we go. Star Trek Benzite Name Generator. Let's... Okay, so Reboz Mobug. <laughs> Mobug. Quandoc. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Quandoc? That seems kind of like a cool thing. It's got Q in it. Can't be that bad, right? Let's choose Quandoc for our name. Okay, instead of Parper Peppa Chick or whatever that is, you are going to be called Quandoc. Because according to the fantasy random name generator, that is a uh, Benzite name. Ah, now let's find a name for this ship. Alright, USS Vancouver, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, we'll use that. Or maybe we should... Yeah, let's do this. No, 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 no. Because we're not going to be keeping the ship they gave us. <laughs> it's going to be a garbage ship. Michael Burnham! Blah. But 7 to 9 is awesome. That's all I can say. Okay. So, I've already played the tutorial, but you may have not played the tutorial. So let's go ahead and do the I'd like to play the tutorial. So that way, each of you can uh, understand how this game actually works. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. And... Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. So there we go. The legendary Leonard Nimoy. Alright, so here we are with a free account at Starfleet Academy. So let's go ahead and talk to Cadet Elisa Flores. I gotta tell you, this game is uh, much better than any new, this new Star Trek series that's, that's going on right now. This is this feels way more like Star Trek uh, than what's currently out. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. I forgot what today was. Oh, it's uh, Sci-Fi Fantasy Sunday. That's what it is. Uh, how could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course. I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Okay, we'll talk to Cadet Rasky. 
All right, so here's this little thing. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. We saw that right over there. So we'll just click on that. And our little Benzite will just run forward. And we'll talk to Cadet Rasky. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? It's a garbage scow, that's what I got. Gone, Doc. I haven't uh, received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Oh, I bet. Okay. So we'll just keep going here. Greetings. Greetings. Goodbye. <laughs> Rasgi said you had something to call, uh, something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Does anyone think that she sounds like a Vulcan or sounds like one of those text-to-speech uh, generators? <laughs> I've, I mean, I've played through this several times, um, and I just now thought, boy, she sounds like a text-to-speech generator. Um, and it's also got that uh, Shatner thing, like, yes, it was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. I swear she sounds like a text-to-speech generator. Like one of the voices I have sounds just like that. All right, so your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. Here it is right here. Um, well, I don't really see any objectives there, but I know what to do. Anyway, an error will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. I'll just click that. Hey, look! We have another Benzite to talk to! I don't think he has his breathing apparatus, though. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once yes. we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Well, as long as they pick themselves up, it'll be okay. Thank you! Alright. Now we locate Lieutenant Ferra. Any rem anyone remember the Cations in Star Trek? They are the kitty cats! <laughs> we first saw them in the animated Star Trek series. Good afternoon, Cadet. What can I do for you? Also, when I see them, I think Wing Commander. <laughs> Any Wing Commander fans out there? Is this where I get my training crew's assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Uh, Quandoc. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. <laughs> I don't know. I just work here. <laughs> Alright, the direction of your objectives also appears on your compass, so... Uh, look for these little uh, explanation points, center your compass, and away you go. And this is like one of the few times this door will ever work. Alright, objects you can interact with have a glow around them, as you can see here. Press F to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. So, we can hit F, or we can just click this right here. Come. Come. See, I like their uniforms. Their uniforms are cool. Cadet. Now, you may be wondering, okay, who is he? Um, he is uh, Denobulin. Deno Denobulin. Am I saying that right? So, you remember uh, Dr. Phlox from Enterprise? Same race. You asked to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. 
I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Well, here we go. I am not a tactical officer, sir. I concentrated on courses for my career track, or many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that an issue? That sounds like a smart Alec thing to say. <laughs> we'll just say I'm a ta not a tactical officer. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. It honestly doesn't matter. You kind of hear the same thing anyway. Did you say senior staff? Ooh, oh boy! I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just realized that people probably can't see me, so I'll turn a light on myself. And then that way I can, like, have my eyes staring at a very bright light. But, yeah. You're a tactical officer, sir. Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Okay. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir! Alright. Yeah, there, there, what? See that? He, he, he did a salute. We are incorrect. We are in character. I should have gotten my Star Trek uniform. I have a Star Trek uniform. Yes, I'm a total geek. <laughs> uh, talk to Cadet Elisa Flores. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Okay, lead the way. Wait, wait, wait! Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. I'm waiting for you! <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Ran too fast. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. Reference to Star Trek IV. I sometimes 4. forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. If you remember, uh... Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Captain Picard had a friendly relationship with Boothby, and so did Captain Janeway. Boothby was played by... Oh, I forget the actor's name, but he played uh, My Favorite Martian. Hey, everyone. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you um, have not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe so that way you get notified of future Star Wars and science fiction content just like this. And if uh, you're not a follower uh, on Twitch with me, then you should be. Because I record all of the footage for the episodes while I'm live streaming. So that gives you a chance to actually be a part of the show. So be sure to head over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash killer gamer and follow me there. And maybe you'll be a part of the show. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on another exciting episode of Star Trek Online.